Good morning, everybody. This is how the magic happens. We're going over the thumbnail for, I guess, tomorrow's vlog. Is it tomorrow's vlog? No, today's vlog that's going to be going up. Yes, sir. Yeah, so well, Seb Sebastian's here. For them, it's yesterday's vlog. For you guys, it's yesterday's <laughs> vlog. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But check it out. Uh, this is one of my dad's old TVs. It's not a smart TV, but it is a 50-inch plasma, and we're using that as our giant monitor. And then we have our MacBook. Uh, Pro, which handles all the processing power, which has been working fantastic. So this is where the magic happens for now. So keep on watching, and we'll we'll get Sebastian a little upgrade. We'll get him a 75 inch. <laughs> Kidding. We got a special delivery. We have, um, we get these beautiful vintage style cast iron legs. Designed by yours truly, John Leanders, right here. Check it out. So we got a fresh load in right from the foundry. And we sell these through Legacy Lumber and my furniture company, uh, Canadian Woodworks. We use them on a lot of the tables that we built. They're beautiful legs. They really they add that really cool vintage style look to them. And we got a fresh delivery. Alright, so we got the legs in the shop. Skid's right here, we're gonna crack them open, give you guys a glimpse into what it looks like, and check it out. John's on his phone. I think he talks on the phone just as much as me. It's nice to see somebody else where the phone's ringing off the hook. But uh, always a good chat with John. Very smart uh, business guy, so I always throw a bunch of questions across, across his plate and uh, try and absorb a bit of information. Super smart guy, awesome designer. Designed some killer, rustic type of stuff. We do have a video, I think, on the Legacy Lumber page of a little tour through his house that he designed himself, and it's just an incredible place. We'll hopefully get you another video of that too. Put the two together. You know what I mean? So. If, oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So if if we it will can, work in the smaller with a thing, more but of a modern modern style, like, you know, something maybe a little less industrial. Yeah. And uh, and something that that each corner and then they bolt together. So recap, today in the morning we had a little meeting with Sebastian, went over some thumbnails, went over a bunch of stuff for story time on Instagram, all sorts of media creation content stuff. John Leanders came by, designer of the vintage style cast iron legs that we sell and use on our furniture. We had a good little chat actually, I always have a good chat with John. Hey Sebastian, what are you doing? Just editing away, man. Having a good time. Sweet. <laughs> What do you got going on up here? What are you going to do with this whole jalopy? So there's this clip of this box coming by. Yeah. And so I'm going to make it so that this next clip gets revealed as this box kind of goes away. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it is slightly snowing right now. Will winter ever end? Tomorrow is supposed to be 14 degrees here. That's exciting. The only thing I like about today is the ground is frozen. It gets very muddy and very wet uh, over the next month, month and a half, this time of year. Daniela from Circle Rock, Circle Rock, Smiling Rock is here. Just unloading a table. We're gonna help with a little bit of a refinish on a tabletop and it'll be going through the wide belt sander. Probably not today. We got a bunch of other things to do, but we're just unloading it.
lunchtime. Justin's down having a bite to eat. The shop is nice and quiet, so I'll give you a little tour through of the stuff we got going on. Right here, we have the cast iron legs from John Leanders. We'll crack off the banding, show you what those legs look like. We've been busy. We got a whole bunch of our Sosujiban samples ready for a bunch of clients. A full char, so there's no brushing. We have a very, very light brushing. Uh, we're using Rubio Monocoat as well as Osmo Oil uh, UV Protection Oil, which comes clear or pigmented. So there's a lot of different options in the finish that you can have. We then have a pretty heavy brush finished with either the black oil or the clear oil. And then we have uh, a double brush and a triple brush. So we can see here the different uh, textures that we're getting. So I have to package up some of these, get them mailed out to a couple clients. Here are the epoxy river samples. So this is what I was saying. It is a clear river, but it is kind of opaque. So one here has an Osmo oil on it. I believe that's this one. And this one here has the conversion varnish uh, sprayed on it. So we got the two options there for the client. We're gonna mail them off, see what they like. We have a pretty cool base that we're doing. It's gonna be five legs and it's gonna have a glass top. And Justin's been working on the templates. So we can see here, uh, we have a master template and then we have our individual templates off of that one. And it's coming along. So this will be ready to start uh, laying out on some real hardwood and start getting those pieces ready. Daniela has been hard at work. We've been demolding the uh, river, the mini rivers, I guess we can call them. Check it out. The mini rivers our students do uh, the first two Saturdays of every month. So this was the first Saturday. They did the pour and they're gonna come back uh, this Saturday. I don't know if that made any sense. They're coming back this Saturday uh, to do the sanding and finishing on them. So kind of a two day course, the first two Saturdays of every month, working with chilled epoxy. I'm gonna leave Daniela up here working while I go have a bite to eat. So, thanks Daniela. <laughs>
They're, they're f***ing sick. Might have to beep that out. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> and we emptied the vacuum kiln, a lot of work. And I'm usually not doing that, that's usually Mitch. So that's one task that I've taken back over. But as I was talking to Sebastian, it's kind of neat because we get to show you the story a bit better because I'm involved in the whole process of opening the kiln, taking the wood out and then going through it. So as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Until next time, have a great one.